Hey everyone, it's Nate here from Fly Plugins and thank you for purchasing S3 Media Maestro. In this getting started video, we are going to walk you through how to use the plugin. So let's jump right in. Once you have the plugin installed and activated, we will go to the settings screen on the left hand side under S3 Media Maestro. And that is going to bring up the settings screen for the plugin. As you can see, the first thing we're going to need is our Amazon S3 access key and S3 secret key. And we can find those within our Amazon S3 account after we're logged in. If we are logged into the Amazon Web Services system, we simply go into the management console. And if you see your username over on the upper right hand side, you can just scroll down to security credentials. And on that page, you will see your access key ID. You can simply copy that head on over and paste that into the S3 Media Maestro settings. Click on show to reveal your secret access key for S3 and just grab all of that and copy it. Head on over and paste that into the S3 Media Maestro settings. And as you'll see, the next field we need to fill in is our default Amazon S3 bucket. You can indicate a default bucket to choose files from, and this just saves you a little bit of time when you're actually placing media within your WordPress posts and pages, so you can simply place a file name without the entire naming convention that Amazon S3 uses. Now an important note about bucket names, we highly recommend you visit this URL, don't worry, we will link to this in the... Uh, documentation page from within the plugin but we highly recommend that you follow Amazon's best practices when it comes to naming your buckets this can have a major impact on whether or not your file URL resolves correctly so go in and take a look at this page and follow Amazon's recommended best practices for naming your buckets so for this project we are just going to use a default bucket and we will enter that in here, fly test bucket. Now the next field, default link expiry time, by default you can set the amount of time that you want your media link to be valid before it's inactive. And this prevents your uh, customers from sharing your digital content with other people. So after a certain amount of time, the link that you provide your customers to your video, audio, or other media flat files will be invalid and they won't be able to access it. So this prevents people from sharing your links and prevents you, quite frankly, from getting ripped off. So set this to whatever you want. We recommend two to three hours to give your customers plenty of time to get through the content on that particular page. Keep in mind, once they load that page, the timer starts. So they click on the link to your, your page or post that has the media within it. That's when the timer starts running. So we'll continue on down the settings screen. We'll enter our license key that we were provided with when we purchased S3 Media Maestro so that we can get all the excellent future updates that are going to be released automatically. We can choose whether or not we want to display the powered by link. And if we have a ClickBank ID, we can enter that here and we can receive commissions on anyone that clicks through on that link on our website and earn a few extra bucks each month then we will just click save settings. Now when it's time to place the audio or video media within your post or page in WordPress, simply click the button above the content area. We will start with the first tab here, media file details. Basically the first option is going to indicate whether or not this content is hosted with S3 and whether it is audio or video. So for this example, we are going to use S3 hosted video first and we will simply flip on over to our S3 management console. We're gonna right click on the file that we want in our default bucket and go to properties. Then we are going to copy and paste just the file name. Remember we are using this bucket as our default bucket in our settings screen so we don't need the entire file path. We just need the file name so we can copy and paste that drop that into the S3 file URL. Now a word of caution about file names. The file name in S3 Media Maestro must exactly match the file name in Amazon S3, including 
uppercase and lowercase letters. So the best practice would be to go in and copy that, copy and paste that file name from Amazon S3 to S3 Media Maestro to make sure you have the uh, file name exact. And we didn't do this within the plugin to make it a pain in the butt. Uh, and the same thing with the bucket names. It's uh, Amazon S3 is just very, very particular about the way that your uh, file URLs are structured. And furthermore, Amazon also recommends that you do not use spaces in your file name. It adds these really strange plus marks. You've probably seen it before. And depending on the platform you're using to access any file names that have the spaces, it may or may not work. It could break your file path. So just get in the habit of not using spaces within the file name of anything that you put into one of your Amazon S3 buckets to ensure the integrity of your file URL. And while we're on files, let's just go ahead and flip back over to Amazon S3 and take a look at the permissions tab. Uh, after you right click on your file, we just want to make sure that the only grantee is us, our username for that particular file. If you've given permissions to, for example, everyone uh, to open or download, then that particular file will not be protected by S3 Media Maestro. And again, this isn't something that we can control as plugin developers. We just have to make sure that we are adhering to the way Amazon Web Services works. So just right click on your file within your S3 bucket and make sure that the permissions are restricted to give you access only. So we'll flip back over to S3 Media Maestro. The next option we have to fill in here, if you wanna use a bucket other than what's indicated in your default settings for the plugin, you can include that here. The same goes for the expiry. If you want to use something other than you've set in default for this particular file, and again, if this, say, this media were in a completely different Amazon S3 account and we needed a different access key or secret key, we could indicate those here. So now that we're finished with tab one, we can flip over to tab two, and as you'll see under player options, the first choice is to set a player width and height, or you can leave the default values of 480 by 360. Now, if you have a splash image that you want to display before your video plays, you can indicate the file path to that particular image right here where it says splash image, and that will just be something that displays uh, while your video is, or before it's played, and I'll show you how that works in just a moment. Next, we can choose whether or not we want the video to autoplay up on page load. We can choose whether or not we want it to loop, meaning start over after it finishes. We can choose to hide the Powered By link just for this specific file if we want to. We can include a different skin other than the default. We have a couple in there and we'll be adding to those constantly. We can choose the default volume when the media loads. So uh, anything from zero to 100%. The next setting is auto load and we recommend that you choose auto. That allows the entire media audio or video to begin loading as the video or audio play. The other settings, metadata, it will actually just grab a few seconds of that file to buffer. Uh, it can be a little bit buggy to get that from Amazon S3. So we recommend just letting it flow, letting the auto uh, load flow as the media plays. Additionally, you can set it to none if you don't want to uh, load any of the media until um, the user clicks on play. So once we have all of the tab two options selected, we just click insert into our poster page and we just go over and update or publish, depending on whether or not this particular poster page has been published. Just click on that and we are finished. So we can flip on over to the poster page and take a look at the front end. As, as you can see, we have our splash image there for a moment before the media begins to auto load and auto play. We can scroll to the end of the media. We can see that it loops there. So let's pause it. Now let's say someone was trying to be sneaky and wanted to inspect your link to your media and they copy that, send it to a friend who subsequently tries to paste it into a web browser. 
based on the amount of time between when that happens and when your link was created based on your default expiration settings, the friend on the other end is going to get access denied because this link has expired based on that value that you entered. So let's flip back over and add a non-S3 hosted video. Pretty simple. We just click on that button again, select non-S3 video. We enter the file URL. This time we need the entire file path. So for instance, here we have a video, a .move video that's hosted within our WordPress installation. Again, we can flip over, set the player width and height if we want to switch from the default splash image, all of the other settings, and we just click insert player and update our post just as we did before. And again, if we uh, flip on over to the front side to this post or page, we can see that we have our video there that is hosted from within our WordPress installation. Now let's take a look at audio. Now we have an MP3 file that's hosted with S3, so we're gonna select S3 audio. We'll flip over and grab our file name. Again, we wanna copy and paste that so that it is exact. And we have some capital letters in here, so we'll paste that in. Again, we have the option to select uh, an alternate bucket, expiry, access key, or secret key other than what we have listed in our default settings for S3 Media Maestro. We'll uh, flip on over to the player options tab too and you'll see this time there is only player width. Obviously this is an audio player so there's no height associated with it but we can still choose to auto play, loop, uh, select what we want to do with the powered by link, volume, and whether or not we want to auto load the uh, audio media. And again, we would scroll down and just click insert player. And that's going to build our short code for us. And we'll just update this WordPress post. And let's flip on over and look at this uh, MP3 file on the front end. Perfect, there it is. We've got our player, which started auto playing and auto loading. And so now we have audio media with a protected link which will expire after the defined amount of time. Now let's just go through one more example here. We're going to select non-S3 audio. This is very similar to non-S3 video. We would just enter the entire file path and set our player options just as we've done in the prior example. So we will just go through these, choose a volume, we'll set it to auto load, and we'll click insert player, update, and again, if we flip over to the front side of our WordPress installation, we have our uh, media player here with our non-S3 audio content. And that will do it for our getting started video for S3 Media Maestro. Again, we thank you for purchasing the plugin. If you need any further assistance at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at flyplugins.com support. We'll see you soon. Thank you.